and I remember just kind of almost having an out of body experience where I came out of the drums and just saw like a room full of people jumping over each other, all singing along the words. And I was just like, fuck. Like, Mad, isn't it? This oh, is nice. Today on the show, we are joined with George and Ben of Kid Capici. This band is such a recent discovery for me and has been nonstop in my rotation. They just released a brand new album titled There Goes the Neighborhood that feels like an absolute party. It rocks, it's fun, make you jump up and down, make you laugh, and all that. You can check it out right now. And it's got such a special vibe. And today, we learn about how that vibe is creative through the special bond the band has with each other, hear the story of their evolution, and the exciting chapter they're in right now. Just getting music out, being able to tour the world, and producing these epic and fun music videos, and much more. And yeah, let's just get into it. Hiya. How you doing? You all right? Hey, you Yo, doing? what's happening, boys? How you doing? You all right? Uh, about a month ago, I got a little press release, said Kid Capisci on it. And at first I was like, which rapper is this? And then I clicked <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, man. But what I didn't expect was to find one of my new favorite bands. So this yeah, is fucking man. awesome. Um, it was just like kind of like a happy accident. And I thought what was cool too was like from watching your videos and soaking in the vibes, I'm seeing all the comments and people are like, why are they more fake? Like, this is the most underrated shit. And it was like, just taking my thoughts. I'm like, yeah, this is fucking incredible. Uh, so, hey, that's that's, that's what I need to say, say man. That's what I need to say. Yeah, yeah. And I just kind of want to know, like, um, I'm really like feeling the vibes. There's just such like a, a fun energy to it. And um, I just kind of want to know, like, were you guys like all like uh friends prior to this? Or did yeah, you guys like, like we're, we're all from the same town in Hastings and yeah, we've all been playing music together since yeah, we were kids. Me and man. Eddie kind of were in a band when we were like 12, 13, met Jack and then through Jack met you. And yeah. We've all been playing in like different musical projects at, throughout our years, but like always been together, a long, yeah, long time man. together. But no, yeah. yeah, we definitely, we're like, we got a history, man. You know what I mean? Like proper brothers and that, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, there's just like this natural energy to it. And when I'm watching the videos, I'm just kind of thinking, of, yo, I want to have a beer with these guys, you know? Yeah, it's just man, like this yeah. loose... I mean, we never wanted like the videos to just be like taking themselves too seriously because we didn't want to do like a lifetime of that, like sort of like, oh yeah, so deep. So it's like, we all like having a laugh and that. So we just thought, why not, you know, make the videos a bit more tongue in cheek, you know it, what I mean? Man. Like, Mm -hmm. yeah definitely and even like the content from like singing about the, like the 90s and tamagotchis to like yeah. robbing fucking supermarkets and shit like that <laughs> it's it's just um it just seems like you guys are having a blast and the vibe is like very infectious and i just want to know like are you all like kind of coming together with the lyrics or is this like a jack thing where he brings it to you guys and if so like what is your response to yeah things. like so like the the main kind of way it happens is like uh yeah me and gmac will work a lot and eddie will work a lot on like lots of instrumental type stuff and get lots of like vibes together like that and then me and jack will do top lines like that jack's jack's got like a list on his phone of like things he's like overheard people saying in a pub or like little quips he's heard or thought of or whatever and it's like there's just bags and bags of like universes each one is a universe to kind of write within man so yeah it's brilliant man it's like it's been it's been real cool the last two albums have been like a real nice exploration of uh the four of us writing you know what i mean mm. like like from from the uh crucible moment till the final thing it's like it's uh we're all finding our position in it and it's just working really well yeah, like, it's man. an enjoyable process like writing you know it can be tough sometimes doing like that kind of crazy stuff pressure, yeah but like a lot of the time we're just all dancing around in the studio and we're making music and yeah we have listened to that album about a hundred times in the back of the van on the road man do you know what i mean like <laughs> we know it we know yeah. it well <laughs> that's awesome yeah and speaking of the album there goes the neighborhood coming out march 15th and uh my favorite track on it like i've listened to it a few times as well i think um my favorite is get down and i also love yeah. the video for that hey, that's man, also man. why hey, i man. said like I feel like I want to have like a beer with these guys, you know, like have a <laughs> night out. And I also like want to know, is Charlie the bartender a real guy? 
Yeah, he's actually our, uh, our guitar tech on tour, man. You know what I mean? Like he's as well. Like yeah, <laughs> he is real. He is real. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, just like just listening the, to the lyrics. The filming too, like... of that video was a legitimate. Like we're all doing dry January, right? So everyone's like, I'm going sober for a month, and we all turned up. Yeah, we're not. We're not going to be drinking for this video. And everyone was like, Are you sure about that? Like, and we all turned up, and it ended up just being an absolute massive party, party night. Yeah. Massive party night. Mm -hmm. yeah i also like um i'm a video director as well too and i just love like kind of the look and vibe of that it like seems like just like the way the shots were put and like the effects and where like the backgrounds like kind of like slow motion or like speeding up it was it's Thanks cool like yeah, yeah yeah but like in like such an effective and authentic way it's like super cool so oh nice yeah. man yeah and it's just kind of like um i want to know like how it feels to like take these really fun songs maybe you guys put together and then bring it to like a live stage and like kind of like get the reaction and energy back from people yeah man like yeah live performance is what it's all about for us like literally yeah, growing up in hastings it's like live music is everything we spent our whole childhood just going and watching like raucous raucous gigs and like. playing raucous gigs like from the age of like 15 16 like you know we've all we've been playing shows that have just been like multiple mm. mosh pits like do you know what i mean in this little pub called the tubman and then playing like yeah we've just grown up like every weekend doing like two or three gigs whether it's with capiccio we've played with other bands it's like so live is where it's at so so yeah when we translate it to that like we know that like the real way to like experience our music is live you know what i mean like the records like we put a lot of time and energy into them but really like there's no replacement for the live experience and the process I mean? of like how we're doing it now live like our show has evolved so much so that we're we're able to like make our music. We can focus on the production a bit more and actually bring that into the the live show. So it's just like a, an amazing spectacle. You know what I mean? We love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine it's like a party too. And even again, oh, like yeah. going back to like just kind of scrolling through your YouTube comments, there's so many that say, "Hey, I saw them open for so and so and so and so," and it's like now they're my favorite band. So like I haven't seen you guys live, but no doubt I can tell just from the vibe and everything. There's got to be like this special energy in the room. And you got to come and check us yeah. out, man. You got to see it. To uh, believe it like you know uh, I mean? the headline show is like when everyone's there for it as well. Like you said, it's just like a big rave, man. Like everyone's just going for it, man. Yeah, I even noticed uh, you guys are coming my way in Toronto, uh, May 20th. You guys are playing uh, at uh, the Velvet Underground. It's a cool, like, it's a space that holds a lot of people, but it also feels, like, really tight, like, low ceiling. Like, I can see yeah, it yeah, getting yeah. lit in That's there. The and best, man. Nice, yeah. man. Come Sweat through, man. Come through. Yeah, I'm definitely going to come through. I'm going to bring, like, a, a bunch of people, too. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, we'll yeah. have a beer, man. We'll That's have a little it. party, man. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And, like... It's it's got to be cool too, like uh, to put a project like this together, and then especially like as you're telling me, like you guys have all been longtime friends, and then be able to tour the world together. That's like, do you ever think about when you started, it like just maybe like first met each other and like the evolution of this happening? It's, it's like I think there's like you never really clock on to like where you are because you're always in it and it's kind of just you're just on this constant kind of slope but like there was a moment when we were like after we played in Vegas actually me and Ben woke up at like four in the morning and we were just like driving through the desert we were like super hung over and I was just like this is like a proper moment just yeah. being like what like <laughs> those milestones are very exciting to acknowledge you know what I mean because like you say like we've been doing it a long time since when your kids or whatever and uh yeah, it's interesting that perseverance just leads to something and then you're just like, suddenly you're in America, suddenly you're in Canada, hit you. suddenly you're all over Europe and stuff. And, even, and you're just going, Jesus. Man. Even doing like, when we did our, our headline show in London, when we, whenever that was last yeah, year, yeah. like that was like the biggest headline we've done. And I remember just kind of almost having an out of body experience where I came out of the drums and just saw like a room full of people jumping over each other all singing along the words and i was just like fuck like, mad isn't it this oh, is not <laughs> yeah and i i could i find like uh with like a lot of like professional creatives even beyond music sometimes you can get so caught in the grind and even to get to the level where you're at it takes so much work and you can get lost and like forget 
<laughs> where it came from or the initial dream or whatever because you're so busy so it's cool like that you guys had those moments where you can just catch it like whether you're like driving through a desert and be like fuck yeah like yeah, just take yeah. a take a breath and um kind of appreciate and honor the for journey sure, time, for sure mm -hmm. yeah and even um was i gonna say um with this new album too like this is your third one as well like how would you say you guys kind of like evolved do you feel like you're getting like more comfy with like your your sound and just like kind of the, what you want to project as a band yeah i think like with, with this record we definitely uh i think we tried to explore the extremities of the the sort of the goalposts in which our sound can exist like you know the darker heavier sides probably the darkest and heaviest the lighter sides probably the most extreme of that that we've done and it was a sort of exploration into all the different things our band can be so moving forward you know, we can draw on whichever parts of that we want, you know, and I think that was a, a, a real self-discovery as, mm. as a band with this record, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you have like a personal, like maybe favorite track on it? I, my my favorite is to get down an artillery, man. That's it. Yeah. I, yeah hell yeah. I, I'm like, oh, do you know what? When I think about it, I've actually got a lot of favorites. I'm, I love uh, artillery, probably 999 and uh, even Zombie Nation as well. It's a little Yeah, bop. man. It's mm -hmm. a lot of vibes on it but yeah it's just it's gonna be a lot of fun to play live man yeah yeah even um the album i want to say it's unexpectedly educational for somebody from north america the song 999 it may, reminded me that your emergency number is not 911 like over here <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so if i'm ever in england and i'm in trouble like <laughs> that is it man call Public the swine <laughs> but, but yo yeah, yo man. yeah it's 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 super cool and um even like uh ongoing topic in these segments to uh again like i'm not i don't even only like talk to musicians i've been talking to like um different type of performers from like comedians and battle rappers and like all over the board and yeah. there's there's been this ongoing like kind of uh narrative lately where when the talking about performing uh a lot of people say they have like these these nerves even like at the highest profession like right before they go out on stage and almost to the point where they either hit the first note or say the, the first joke it's like it suddenly goes away once you get the reaction from the crowd and then you yeah. go into like this blackout like flow state would you say you guys kind of have that like uh do yeah, you guys man. get nervous still or some shows more than others but for sure like you know the, our preparation for going on stage is very like you do have to get into a, a very palpable zone to get onto the stage. So it is sort of ritualistic how we're getting into mm. it. And, but exactly like you say, like whatever that tension is before, more excitement than tension, but whatever that kind of like anticipation is, as soon as you get into that first thing, like you say, yeah, that no. first note, you're you're in it. It's and a you, flow. You kind of wake up afterwards, like you turn into a werewolf or something. I think, you know what's, I mean? like, I think what's going to be a kind of um exciting and a challenge and something that we've basically on on the next tour that we're doing we're going to be doing the longest set we've done because now we've got so many albums to kind of choose from so we're going to be playing for the longest we've done so for us cool. it's going to be like holding back like yeah. just going mental the whole t like we need to just pick our moments because it's going to be a physical because like, that's why thing. you get to like minute 45 and you look like completely deflated <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. or after the first song you just give it your all oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i got another hour <laughs> now it's a marathon not a sprint now that's so we it, need man. to fucking keep that in mind yeah that's cool but it's cool that you're getting all these different experiences is i feel like it's so important as like any artist to have these moments where you step out of your comfort zone it's like only making you grow and like add to your arsenal you know of like just like intuition and everything for sure man for sure mm -hmm. and um just i guess like as a final question if um some kids are with their friends right now who also playing music they see what you guys are doing and maybe aspire to kind of take their band to the next level as well would you guys have like any advice for a young yeah. aspiring band yeah i think like to be honest with you like one thing we've we've said a long time is like you know never be 
sort of always trying to be getting better, always looking at ways you can tighten the screws, you know, because some people you meet are like, no, nope, I'm done. It's the rest of the world that needs to catch up. But really, there's always ways in which you can be refining it. And I think a secondary result of that is that you're always thinking about stuff. You're always moving forward. Like, even if it's a small thing you're changing, yeah. it means that you're thinking about every little thing you're doing. I, you're not just... I think as well, it's important to like kind of just think outside of the box. Like when you're thinking constantly, always just try and enjoy it, number one. Yeah. And course. then like, you know, have have fun with it. But like think outside of the box and be like, how can we be different? You know what I mean? Like um, what we last did, you know, I think that's yeah. it. And that's that area where you feel like a little bit out of your comfort zone is when you'll do your best work and when you'll make your, your best progress. You know what I mean? For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, I like how you said just kind of, be a little bit different to it also do you guys feel like embracing yourself like kind of made you guys stand out and did it take some time like maybe at the beginning yeah, when you like yeah, yeah, we yeah. i want to sound like this and then finally you kind of let loose what and we just... do is kind of weird and like also it's been lots of different things that have all been kind of weird yeah. so and it's you, come it's yeah. come together from like you know it was like one sound which was a kind of sound that was also like inf you could see where it was obviously influenced from but as as the years have gone on, you know what I mean. We've we've all evolved as people and musicians, and like we've all we've all bringing our different elements, how we've grown as musicians to Capici to make it what it is. Like we all love crazy music, and we all love to bring all those things together. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's so cool to like talk to you on this uh, moment and chapter of your journey because I feel like uh, what you guys got going on is very special and everything, and even uh, as a uh, we lead up to March 15th. Um, I'm genuinely excited to not only like share like clips of this interview, but also the music as well. Cause I feel like just a lot of people I know are going to resonate it. You know, it's just like, I can't say it enough. It's just like a vibe that's fucking fun and it rocks. And yeah, just like, I, I'm, so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so stoked uh, for, for your release right now. Yeah, stay mad. We can't wait to get out and start playing it and just yeah. like get it in front of people, you know. What it's, I, mean? I mean, we haven't done we've we spent like so much of last year doing supports, which are like amazing for us to grow in different areas and stuff. But like it's been a while since we've done the headline, and I am just excited for basically two months straight of doing that. Like it's gonna be wild, man. Hell yeah. And yeah, I guess you guys are starting on like your side of the, the world and then coming over to us, yeah, which is it. it's like uh a little like uh kick off to like an adventure for a few months so be yeah. well by the time we reach you yeah yeah hell yeah hell we'll yeah. be broken like yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. hey on may 20th a round of beers on me and, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah that's yes sweet. yeah stoked to meet you guys in person as well too and uh yeah thanks for the chat today guys and hope you have Pleasure, a great mate. day you Pleasure, too, thanks for having us love once again, thank you to George and Ben for joining me today. Very nice to meet you guys. And for everybody listening, another reminder that There Goes the Neighborhood, their album, is out right now. Definitely check it out. We mentioned some of the music videos. Type in Kid Capici on YouTube. Gotta check those out as well because, yeah, they're just so much fun. Looking forward to this world tour. Check some dates, see if they're coming around your town. And get lit with the boys if they come your way, all right? Also, before we go, we can't leave without thanking all you legends on the Patreon page, supporting the show, and first up to Mike Carniello of the Testing with Mike YouTube channel. If you're into technology, electronics, how they work, and most importantly, how to fix them, check out Testing with Mike on YouTube. Another huge thanks to Amanda McKnight of Top 10 Nerd. Beyond being the host of Top 10 Nerd and talking to millions of subscribers, Amanda has her very own YouTube channel. You should definitely check out, soak in some good vibes, learn about comic books, video games, movies, and all things nerdy. That's Amanda McKnight on YouTube. Another big, big thanks to the wonderful Jenny Potter, the legend Devin McBride, back-to-back -back Double Impact Allens, the number one gent Alan Kent, and big wig Alan Briggs. You subscribe to one of our upper tiers on the Patreon page, and uh, we can't thank you enough. Another huge thanks to our favorite soul singer, Saber, and last but not least, Francis Coffer, a.k.a. my mom. If you want to support 
the show. It's only $4 a month, and you get all these episodes early, raw, and uncut. Right when I'm done the Zoom call, I just post them. You can go to patreon.com slash creative imbalance. And beyond having my forever thanks, you can just go to bed at night and sleep soundly knowing you're a badass motherfucker who supports raw, uncut, independent media. And nobody can take that away from you. You hear me? With that being said, we got so many cool episodes coming around the corner. Got a special one with somebody I met at Comic-Con. More music, movies, and much more. Thanks for checking out the show, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah!